all you devils, a happy Friday. And if it's Friday, that means it's a Bitcoin Friday. So we're going to get into, oh, the detail here. And uh, we're going to dig through all of this. There's some good things to learn. And we're gonna, I'm going to reconstruct this for you. You can see how we came up with these zones. Just a little housekeeping at first. I just want to remind you, or we'd like to encourage you to give us a follow over on Twitter. We do really make an effort to communicate with you regularly about things that we're working on or charts or trades or letting you vote on what kind of uh, analysis we're going to do, or I should say what we're going to analyze. The methodology never changes. So uh, give us a follow. Our handle over there is Trade Devils, as you might su suspect. And uh, there's some new information there that, that would be worth checking out today. Um, well, there's a couple of things. So, of course, there's always uh, information about this contest that we're doing where we're giving away memberships uh, uh, in our, um, our members discord. So we've got uh, three, three winners there. First prize is two months of uh, free membership. Second prize is one month. Third prize, two weeks. So you can enter and find that information both underneath this video in that link or more details over on the Twitter feed. But today, I want to encourage you to get over there because we've just uh, announced and just, just launched uh, an entirely new uh, format with, in the ways that we're, we're teaching our members <clears throat> and our students, if you will. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're, 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 kind of, we're borrowing from the martial arts uh, uh, approach to education and progression as you master skills. So you often hear me talk about our senseis that we have. So we have now uh, seven between uh, the grandmasters and the senseis. We have, well, I'll call them, these are really training coaches uh, within the membership discord. So three grandmasters and four senseis there to help you when you land in the discord. They're always available to offer insight into what you're considering or charts that you might have questions about. That's how you learn. It's very much a process of practice. But we, we wanted to give it more structure, so we've put together a belt system. So you're starting with white belt, then going to blue belt, then brown belt, or pardon me, then purple, brown, and black. So it's a series of progressions. These are, these are tests that you'll need to pass to progress. And the idea being that upon mastering those skill sets, you're now progressing to more advanced material. So it's giving it structure and it's giving it a, oh, you can get a sense of accomplishment as you're moving through the material rather than just trying to embrace it all at once. So uh, that, that would be worth taking a look at. All right, so you can find out more information over on, on, um, on the Twitter feed. And we're going to be doing a new video once we have it totally nailed down. It's still, we're still kind of in beta with it. Once we have it totally nailed down, I'll do another video where we'll uh, give you a walkthrough of it. Uh, and that will be here on our landing page on YouTube. So you can look for that, oh, hopefully in the next few days. Right, so with all of that said, let's, uh, let's get into our uh, analysis here of Bitcoin. So it's an interesting thing. So th this, is a, this is right off of, this is the chart we were working off of on the last video I did, which I think was Wednesday. So you can see here we had identified areas of interest, right? Hot boxes, as I call them, where we have technical confluence. And interestingly, so, we, so I've got, what we have here, we, we had suggested an initial as I will like to, to phrase it, sort of an appetizer size entry here, just in case we were going to hold at this level here, this prior resistance, potentially offering the support as we came down to the algo target and tapped the median line. Well, turns out we had one more kick down, took us to the second area of interest, which happens to be a 50% retracement to the tick. So now I would like to think that anyone who watches these videos, either as a member or if you're watching here on YouTube, I would like to think that all of you, and I mean every single one of you, are currently long Bitcoin off of that trade. That just, there, I don't know what you're waiting for. Right? If, you, if you can't pull the trigger there, then I, perhaps you need to spend a little time with us over uh, as a member to help you build that confidence because this is as good as it gets ever, ever in any trade. There is no better, there, there, you'll never see a better setup than that. There's, no, there's so much confluence here, I, I'm going to have to re recreate it from scratch. So that, that you just, you can't, you can't let that go. That, that, so if you're not in now for whatever reason, Boy, I hope, you've, I hope you're waiting for the next retracement because that is as good as it gets. You got to pull the trigger there, guys. That's, and it's not about my trying to communicate to you. 
that that is a guaranteed winner. That is not what I'm saying at all. There's no such thing as a guaranteed winner. What we have only is probabilities. Pattern. We have, we, we have confluence of technical indicators and, and methodology all, all coalescing right here within about a $50 range on Bitcoin. By the way, we hit the 50 to the tick. Guys, you, you know, if you're conservative, right? So if you say, oh, I just want to wait and see. Looks like it's coming down. I don't know. We didn't get the ETF. Whatever rationale you've used to not have pulled the trigger there. Well, let, let, let's hope that on the first retracement that you're there, okay? Because well, now we don't know that that's going to happen. But you, if we get this retracement here, now you have a clear exit. So you know, it, let's assume we get five here and we start the wave two retracement. Well, that's an entry also you got to consider. If you bought it here, that's your first place to add. Because look how close we are to where we know to be out. We're just on the other side of that 50. So if this is going to break down here, we're going to go back down. Well, then the count is wrong and wrong. You see, take the stop. Welcome to trading. That, that is the name of the game. You, you, you make a business decision. You look at the risk reward. You decide whether or not you have enough ingredients here to bake the cake of a trade. And when I tell you that you're going to see a lot of ingredients here, boy, you know, if, if you're not in, God, I'd like to think you're waiting for the retracement. And you're a little bit sorry you're not because that was a lay down. Not, again, I'm not saying it's guaranteed to be a winner. I'm saying the entry. Man, boy, if you're, if you're waiting for something better than that, it's going to be a long wait. All right, so let's, let's just do this here as I get off my high horse here. So let, let, let's go back. So here is, this is a three-hour chart. Let's just, just reconstruct this. All right, so here, this is, so I'm working from the, the June 29th low here, right? Now, the reason I'm doing that, so you see here on Bitfinex, we don't actually get a new low here. But because on other exchanges, we do, Bitstamp and others, where we get a new low here, you know, you can't cherry pick based on, based on different exchanges. So we have to work with this low here as kind of a, you know, an averaging down here. Because it broke on one, we have to assume that, that this is now our new low here on Bitfinex. It's some sort of truncation. But I would not be playing this as a one-two, right? I guess that's my broader point. All right, so I'm working from that low. All right, so if you if you weren't even if you weren't thinking Elliott wave, you're like, ah, this Elliott wave is bullshit. Right, so if you don't if you don't like the Elliott wave stuff, okay, that's fine. All right, so what do we have here? So we got a pretty good shelf of of prior resistance potentially now, potentially in place there for some some to uh, to offer some support. Right, we, we, we know that's there. So if we're going to go down deeper, which we may well, right? I'm not saying that this is the absolute low for the year. What I'm saying is we have a pretty good shelf down here. So we can look at this and say, well, we have here, we have a series of higher highs and higher lows. Here's our first retracement. So now you say, okay, was it technical? Well, we grab here up to, I'm showing this as our wave one. Well, we do break the 65. Right, but we know if, if, so here's where, you know, a little Elliott wave has to come in play. So if we're looking for a retracement and we're thinking about this, you know, even if you call it a swing, right, I'm trying to keep the Elliott out of it. So if you think of this, we've got a swing and a retracement. Well, these are common, these are common retracement levels. So, you know, I, I'm teaching you about how algos will respond to what's happening here, but the, Everything that we teach here is a bit of a blend, right? So it's not pure algo and pure market geometry or pure Elliott, we uh, Elliott Wave. It's a combination of all of that put together to give you the ability to get confluence when you're considering a trade. So if we look at this from an Elliott Wave perspective or even just a retrace, the fact that we've held between the 786 and the, and well, you, even if you didn't know about the 65, 618 and the 786, common retracement. Right, is we're particularly down by a low. This is a push to this is a push to break those lows. They can't do it. Right, bulls win. Up we go. All right, so let's think about that. So that would give us in, in uh, at a significant level here on a three hour. This is a higher low. Now technically this is a higher low, but I'm considering this a double bottom. So we get a higher low. All right, we break this. We've got a higher high. So we have the ingredients now of a new trend starting. Well, here's the correction. We know. Again, you got to bring in a little Elliot, just a little, little, a little bit of theory here. So, in the, at the, at its most basic, Elliot is is grounded in the idea that markets trend in fives, they correct in threes. 
All right, so if we look here, this sure does look like we've got a three wave retracement. So let's just think about that. So what, what would that mean here? If, if with this clearly established, I'm just gonna take that off to clear up the chart. So if we look at this and we say, okay, well, here's a, here's a pivot that was significant. We've gone up to a new high here. Let's, let's evaluate what's right here. So if I just take that swing low to that swing high, all right, what have we done? Right to the 50. I, so this is why I can't understand if, if you're not long. I, I, I've probably shown you 1,200 at least. At, no, probably more than that. I gotta be closer to 2,000. Examples of a pivot at the 50 going to target. So, that, so I've also shown you many, many cases where it's not, just because we have a target, we're not guaranteed to get there. There are no guarantees, no guarantees. The only guarantee is that there are no guarantees. The, the, but this right here, you've got to, you've got to pay attention to that. So, it, so what we have is a candidate here for the next higher low. Now, how do, do we confirm the trend? We can't confirm the trend until we break that and we get a higher high. So we have an algo target in place here that sets that up. So here's a, a very reasonable roadmap if we're gonna get there. So if we think about that now and think, okay, swing, retracement, swing, retracement, right to the 50 based on this pivot. If we're gonna go higher, well, that's you know, back, back to the very basics of Elliott Wave, which is we trend in fives, we correct in threes. Well, let's, let's work backwards. So from this, sure, sure looks like I could have an ABC going in right there. N no reason to think otherwise, unless, unless this breaks and we go down and we start heading back, then maybe, again, bears can see one, two, three, four, five, and then the whole count is wrong. But right now, there's no reason to assume anything other than that we have a pivot here. Now, we've got to get some more distance from this to really get solid on that, on that conviction. But there's certainly, not, just, so just right here, right, just on that, there is enough to be making a trade there. You don't have to put your, your retirement account into that. But there's certainly the ingredients for a trade there. Right? You, you, even if you were just, you just let it get a little distance off the 50 and you had your stop sitting under the 50, there, there's certainly a little, a little trade there. Now, you don't have to be you know, getting long here thinking, okay, I'm holding for new, new Bitcoin high. So I'm holding until we get over 20,000. It's not what I'm saying. But we, certainly, boy, if you're not long there, my first question to you is why not? Why are you not long there? Again, assuming you wa you watch these videos on a pretty regular basis, I, I don't know how you could not be long there. All right, so it, not, again, not to preach. Let, so let's try and construct it in, in an Elliott Wave fashion. So come here. Looks like with this ABC, we could put together the absolute basic building blocks of an Elliott count. So sure looks like I might have a three, four, and potentially now I have, I have an Elliott target up here that's in sync with my algo target. So it would just be perfect, right? So this shelf here, as I drew previously, this shelf here of support, potentially now setting up as my one wave high. So if, we're, if this were to come down now, if we were to come down and take out this, this pivot here, this, this shelf of support, we break that, that down, then this count is invalidated. Everything I'm about to show you here in terms of being long here, it, you're just gonna take the stop, but it's not gonna hurt you. That's a jab, not a knockout. Assuming, assuming you didn't overtrade it, right? So, and you stuck with your trading plan and your money management rules about what kind of size you put into any given one trade. But if you were waiting for a good one, they don't get much better. Okay, so here, one, two, three, A, B, C into a four. And here I've got, now this, you know, get, there's a little bit of Elliott knowledge here. This is, this is likely, likely we have a truncated, or pardon me, pardon me. We have an expanded B wave here. Does happen here as we get we get a new high here for this B relative to this one, but we get three waves into the B. We come down in five, gives us our C. Right. So again, just just rudimentary Elliot. Right. That's not uncommon to see an expanded B wave as they try and push up. So this is a lot of people will tell you what's happening there in an expanded B. It's running the stops that are sitting over this pivot. They run the stops, take it down. So if you were a breakout trader, which this is a good example of why I'm not a breakout trader. So if you were taking the breakout of that pivot, up, bull trap, and you got crushed. Right? So that's why I refuse, I never, ever buy markets that are going up. I only buy markets that are going down. And I only sell markets that are going up. 
c- common sense. You, you want to pay full retail? You want to buy it on sale? Uh, you want to simplify it like that? Well, let's see what else we can put together here. So note, note here, what, what, as we came down to this 50, do you see this big hole over here of volume? And that's reflective of, so let's, let's identify this. So just from under the 50 down here to under the 65, we have a big hole over here. So let me clone that, get a second copy of it, and just bring that over here. Let me mark those right next to each other. Do you see why we have that hole here? So the market moved through that level so quickly, there's no volume here. So the market doesn't, we don't have market acceptance here. And that's all we have here. Up here in one standard deviation, lots of trading. Buyer, sellers, buyer, sellers, market's happy, all's good. We come down here, we go outside of a standard deviation here in the when we transition from green, red to, to blue, purple. Now we're outside of one standard deviation. So we're already pushing 70% of the price action as we go to that. Now we do have a lot of trading volume down here. In fact, point of control sitting right here at that one level, that initial level that I drew for you as, as support. Look where the point of control is. All right, so market acceptance here. So what, what we were looking at, and the reason we said this was a good entry is because the stop could be close. Because if this did not hold, the odds were this was gonna move so quickly through that because there's no support here. You just got a vacuum. No trading volume, no market acceptance. So what typically happens is the market approaches those low volume nodes, either it blows right through it, so the, because there's no support, it just blows right through it to, to where we do have market acceptance, point of control, or it's rejected. It comes down, gets close to it, and is, is rejected. Now, you think of that and say, well, is it rejecting because of the 50? I can absolutely guarantee you that there's an algorithm written to buy that 50, and that's why you're seeing this move off of the 50. That does not mean that that will hold, but I promise you there's software written to buy that 50 off of this swing. That's, that's, that's what's happening there. So now you say, wait a minute, wait a minute. I heard that there was bullish news today. I saw that bit about uh, there's, uh, we're, we're getting uh, new Bitcoin futures on the, on the board of trade. You know, is it, is it all... <sighs> You know, a big conspiracy. Is this all about market manipulation? Oh, shit, man. It could be. Could be. Dude, what are you going to do about it? You know, so you're going to stay out of the market? Is that is that your plan? Well, you're, you've already left a good trade on. So we, I just think that conspiracy theory, market man, manipulation, you know, with nothing you can do about it. So why, why are you worrying about it? So it, it, regardless of whether you think, oh, all this crypto is manipulated, I, I, I promise you that algorithm doesn't give a shit. Swing low, swing high, it's written to buy the 50. It will defend it down to the 618. Re- does not care about an Elliott account. Doesn't care that as we approach the 618, it's less likely to get to that, that target from an Elliott perspective because of the depth of the, of the four. So we lose a bit of symmetry. So if this is going to hold higher probability, remember, that's all we get, probabilities, higher probability of getting that target. We go to the 618, it's still there, right? I've shown you thousands of examples of the 618 to the tick, golden zone to the tick going to target. So it doesn't mean that it can't get there, but from our perspective as Elliott traders, this is a better fit. This is a better wave four for us. Let me get that up a degree. So it makes a little more sense. All right, so now, so okay, so what do we have so far? So we have swing low, swing high, we have a 50. We have this area here in market profile here where we see we have this, this lack, this just this vacuum. Here, where the market has come down right to the edge of that, this prior area here, you can make the case that this is just more support here of indecision, indecision. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're going down, going up. Who's going to win? Bulls or bears, right? Bears win it. Bull, pardon me. Bulls win it. Bears take it back down. Where do they come? Right back to where it started. Literally, right back to where it started. All right. So let, let, let's see if we can keep putting some things together. Well, what else might we put there? Well, if I've got an A, B, and a C, that means I've got three pivots. So of course, of course, I'm gonna get a pitchfork on this, right? I'd like to think that everybody has already done this. So what do you see there, right? This, I, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what else I can put in front of you, right? So that, that's median line to the tick. So we've got median line hitting as we hit the 50. That alone, if you just forget about the Elliott wave, just 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 the swing low to swing high to the 50 with the median line. You don't even need to think about Elliott wave to, to know that that's something you at the very least, <clears throat> excuse me, need to be paying attention to. 
All right, what else do we have here? Well, let's see. Maybe we put, get some GAN information. I'm constantly looking for as much confluence as I can find to build a case for a trade at a pivot. For me, as far as I'm concerned, there, uh, there's already plenty there. But let, let's keep going. What else can we find there? Well, let's, let's, let's go down to our low here and put a 45-degree angle on it. Get it right there. Okay, so there's a 45-degree angle. I want to get it right on that low. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's get, let's get a GAN fan on it. Let's just take a look, right? We know GAN... Wasn't the worst trader. Get it right on that. Okay, what do we got? So do you see what's happening here? So the one by one took it up here. <clears throat> We're bullish above. We come down, here's potential support. So we've got our two by one kicking in as we as we come right to this pivot. R R Guys, like it, again, it, you, it doesn't get any better than that. I don't know what else you're waiting for if you're not already long. I want to think that you're already long. And now right now, if you are long, what, what could you do? You move your stop to a tick below that, reducing your risk dramatically. So you're essentially in a free trade. Now that may, may turn out to be the buy of 2018, right? It's, it's the wave four. Now that doesn't mean that that will be the low of the year because if this is gonna go up and put in a fifth here, if we don't know, but if it does, we're gonna have a retrace because that'll just be a one. So there'll be something that will bring it down to the next 50. If it's gonna continue to go, we have to have the retrace. We got to have the retracement to set up the two for the three, right? It's got to go down for it and go up. All right, so we, we've got a lot of ingredients right here into this. Now, I haven't even gone into the, 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 the nitty gritty of the wave count going down. Well, let's see if we can do that. Let's, let, let's look down here. So here it is with all the detail that, of course, my members in the Discord, they want, they want the nitty gritty. So let's, let's, let's dig in here. So let's go into this countdown here. So this is a one hour. We, May go down a little bit further. So here, here it is as I would propose it with the detail. So here's our A. So we've got five into our A, A, B, C into an A, A, B, C into a B. This got a little squirrely. This is a little tricky here, but it looks like we've got A, B into a C of B up here. That looks fairly good. And then we come down. Well, here's the wonky part where we had this spike down retrace. So Tough to count this any other way. So it looks like we've got, from our B here, we get a one, two. So now all I'm doing is pulling from the two to down here in green to my three low as we tapped the median line to the tick the first time. What a perfect spot for, for our wave three. All right, let's, let, me, let me take this down to a 15 minute. Okay, let's, let's dig into that. All right, so here we come. This is, God. You know, it's I can't make this stuff up. So here we come to the three. I've got a little A, B, C into my four. So my four, we come, we're a little shy of the 38. We seem to roll over. And now we've got this, the ingredients here for an impulse to take us down here to get this pivot right into the hot box. So here's one, two, three, right? Deep four. We don't overlap the one though, right? So we have an, imp we have an impulse to finish down here. Now, this is just getting started. This is why you often will see choppiness and potentially a diagonal starting around these significant pivots because it's a fight for a new trend. Can they, so volatility, volatility, bears trying to break the low, bulls trying to move it away. Volatility, those kind of swings are what often lead to a diagonal as we come off of a major low, a significant low. Are we there yet? Well, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not ideal just yet. So we could have an, a one, two, three. It's possible we have some sort of a diagonal going in here. It looks like we might have something. Well, look, that could be. We could have something like this. We'll see if we get another leg. Let's that in white here. That, that'll work. Okay. So possibly, possibly, we've got something like this. It's too soon, right? We don't have enough here to really call that. Is this the three? Are we going up for another three? It's hard. It's hard to call it just yet. Could be a move down. This could be the A and the B going in of the four. Too soon to call it. What we want to see is distance from this pivot. Right? That's what gives us more confidence in this pivot as we move away from it. And if we can move away from it in a motive wave, all the better. Diagonal, impulse, what? fine, just give me five. If we get five here, then we can be more confident that we have a contender for a one wave. A two wave inevitable, right? We're looking for the two to come, but we want that, we want that confirmation here that we move away from this in five. Can't call it yet. But good sign. So entry here, 50s at 7296, and we've gotten to oh, 7505. So we're 300 away from it, rounding 
so good good start to it, but we're, we can't claim victory for the Bulls just yet. Not just yet. All right, so, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to, to offer to you. I guess we can take that off. I don't know what else to put in front of you in terms of that being a place that at the very least you got to be paying attention. So if you're not, if you're not already long, if we do come up here in five, well then you're just sitting and waiting for the confirmation, which is it's not a, not a bad, bad place to be. All right. So you wait for that. And then you're looking for that, for the three. So do we get five? Confirm it. If we do get five, let's get a three wave coming down. We know we're looking for a two. If we get this, right? So if this finishes, if we get this push wherever the four is up to this five, and we can say, oh, I've got a either an impulse or a diagonal that has started here at giving me a candidate for a one wave pushing off of this low. Well, well I'm just going to sit and wait for my three waves, right? What's our, what's our basic premise? We trend in fives, we correct in threes. Well, if I've got a five, I'm just sitting and waiting for the three to give me my potential C, and then I'm pushing into what could be the third of the one wave, right? So this, this is our first one, two, three. We're just putting in the one wave. So let's, let, let's put it into a larger degree. So you see here, we're just trying to get the one wave of this first wave on the larger degree. Long way to go. So here, here's the next opportunity. If you're not long, you're waiting for the two. So you got to sit and wait. All right, you could be right, stop right under that 50, right? Because you don't want to give it too much there. Because if it's gonna if it's gonna do, come back down, right? Then something's wrong. Counts wrong. News. Something happened. Something happened, right? So as long as we don't have a shock, this should go here. If we get this, if we get the five, remember we're not, we don't have the five yet. We should should work into a five, and then the first retrace is the next opportunity. If you're not already long, now if you are long. And, and we do get five here. You got to make a decision about whether you're comfortable allowing 50% of that to be given back because that's where we're looking for the two, right? 50%. So if you caught the pivot down here at the 50, if you caught that, right? I'd like to think a lot of my members did. If you caught that, many of them did. I know they did. So if we move off of this as, as a one wave, you're going to give 50% back. That, that, that's the minimum requirement for a two. Now we know sometimes Bitcoin has been squirrely in the second, we get shallow. How much are you comfortable giving back? So I would propose you, if you do get a good clean five here and you get a little divergence, take a partial. Take 60, 70% off. Wait for the retrace. Now you put profit in your account. You're looking for a reload here and you can go a little bit bigger here because now we know absolutely, we, we have a definitive, oh, the count's wrong. I'm wrong. If, if, if you buy it here and this pivot's taken out, you want, you want to be out because then the, the count as we have it here is wrong. Now, it doesn't mean we couldn't, that this whole thing couldn't move down here. Doesn't mean that we couldn't do that. But for, for the pivot here, for all that confluence that I just put together for you, you know, you'd prefer not to see that because it weakens the case for this to go up to the new high just a bit at least with our Elliott wave hats on so, so we got a couple of things we're going to have to deal with if, if we're, we're coming up right as I always tell you we've got algos on both sides of the market so let's let's clean this up so I can absolutely promise you there will be an algo sitting up here we'll work from these pivots here so one two three four so clearly this was something significant to the market so first pivot we got to deal with Get that right on there. We got to get through the 50. Now, interesting, let note what happens here. So look at our A wave. <clears throat> Sorry. So look at our A wave here. So if we come back up to the 50, we've got a little structural, little market structure resistance we're going to need to kick through. Then we got to get through the 6.5. Then, by the way, don't forget, we got to get through the all the way. All the way, right? That, all of those have to be broken for bulls to stay in control. And that a lot of things have to happen before we get there. But we're off to a very good start, right? This is just what this is, you know, as it's coming down for it, you know, there's kind of a, hmm, really would like to see that hold. I wonder if it'll tap the 50 to the tick. And when you see that kind of reaction, you know, you, you, that should be that should be a lot of smiles, right? So if you're a Bitcoin trader, if nothing, regardless if you're a long-term bull or bear, that's what you want to see, right? That, that's incredibly technical trading. It's, it's all of the ingredients we look for. The methodology that I'm teaching you here, that is absolutely in its full flight right there. Doesn't, does not get any better. Uh, there's no trade I can put in front of you that is better than that one. And that does not mean it will be a winner.
All right, it's the reality of trading. It's just probabilities. That's all you get. All right, guys, uh, that, that whew, I went 30 minutes. Okay, so long one today, but that's going to be interesting to see how that plays going into the weekend. As we know, there's often a lot of volatility in Bitcoin going into the weekend. All right, so give us a visit over on Twitter. You can always check out more information about our membership over on our website. It's Trade Devils, Trade Devils with an S, tradedevils.com. And with that, I guess we'll call it a day, and I wish you guys a good weekend. But this will be interesting. It'll be interesting on Monday what kind of progress we've made there. All right, guys, that's a wrap.